The wonderful Flathead V8 ignition systems. I've got a couple different distributors here in various forms. This is the early Diver Dan one which they used from the beginning and you'll notice when you look at it, it's got a three bolt timing cover and also it's got a short snout compared to the later one which has a longer one so you need to run a um, 10mm or 38 spacer plate and this one, the, this is actually the coil on top here and it's unlike any distributor known today it has, oh yeah these are covers, it's got the terminal plates over I'll go and grab one it's got the terminal plates here and they fit in here because it's got it like a double rotor like that, very complicated setup and the points are way down here but it's got these terminal plates which go here and then the the leads poke into there and come out and it's got these sort of covers which fit over the top but there, this one's pretty tricky or you have to set the points with a the timing jig, I've got one of them, I did a video on that somewhere I'll put up the link but point adjustments are right in here as we set the advance it's got the vacuum brake condenser, coil oh, you can actually do the adjustments through these rubber plugs which have gone funny And then we have this we have this distributor, which is the uh, crab type. It's more of a modern conventional style. They still use this cap on some engines even now. You got the rotor. It's got a twin point for maximum coil saturation. Condensers on the side. It's got the long nose cam. The vacuum brakes here, got one in bits here. This is the vacuum brake, which is connected to the intake manifold through some ports. And here's the cam and weights inside, so it's got centrifugal weights which sw swing out, and then the vacuum brake, when the vacuum's high, will lift off. And when it's the spring will push it back down on here to retard it. And then there's a snap ring there which holds that shim on and then if you take that off it should come apart. It's got the weights and also inside here you'll see a tiny hole where, oh no actually there's no hole. There's a, a wick inside here which goes all the way up to this hole here so you, there's a plug or a screw in there, so you fill that up, soak the oil into the wick which will then slowly ooze out and lubricate that bronze bush in the very end. Most people don't know that and it gets overlooked when you rebuild it. So you've got to keep that oiled. This one's in better condition, much cleaner. There's the part number there. that fits into the housing. I need a screwdriver to push that up there. Oh. That vacuum brake's missing. It's got a leather pad on here. That one's worn off. And here there's a bronze bush in there which gets oil from the timing gear. It drips into there and that's one of those bushes which absorbs oil. And then this is a six cylinder point plate. It only takes one set of points, so you gotta watch out for the six cylinder stuff. That um they use a different cam and weights and different points plate and different cap, but they, they use the same housing. There's the terminal for the condenser and also the negative on the coil. And then this is the same distributor with a different cap. They only use this cap for a little while. It's like a double cap. It's got a cover for the wires, like another sort of modesty cap like the early one. Or it keep, keeps the water out and there's 
rubber boots over it. But that's the same distributor as the crab on it's a different cap. And the crab distributor uses this coil usually. Oh, this isn't a Ford one, I think this is an aftermarket one, some oil filled baker light thing. This is a new old stock New Zealand Army, or it's a Canadian brand gun to carrier, same as a car truck. It's a cam and weights, all wrapped in, uh, wrapped up in the Cosmoline. There seems to be heaps of these available, and they're really cheap, so I bought a few of them. But I'm running an electronic ignition now, the Petronics points replacement thing, and I find it much better than the points because you can't get good condensed condensers these days, they they just fail or don't work properly and you put a new set of points in, new condenser and then it runs well for a bit and you're back to square one like an hour later